We just got out of the car. I'm gonna count the first five cars. Car roulette, right? BMW, I have no idea. Mercedes, <laughs> Mercedes, Audi, Mercedes, Audi. Welcome to Zurich. Maserati, there's the Bentley. Dude, they have so many Lamborghinis here, it's unbelievable. Right? My kind of car right here though. Fia. Look at that. That's a Swiss town right there. Right at the base of the mountains. Classic Switzerland. Big mountains, green hills, little towns. Let's go. Pulling over. We're going to the Marche to get some breakfast. It's on the side of the freeway, huh? Yeah. Connected to the gas station. This is new. I like I like things that are new when I come to new countries. We're gonna figure out what's to do with this Marche. Is it a supermarket? Yeah, kind of, and also a restaurant as well. Yeah, a restaurant. Look at all these cars lined up, and you got the Alps in the background. Lead the way to the Marche. The drive, by the way, so far, as you've seen, beautiful. A lot of people in here. Supermarket, Whole Foods market. Oh, salmon, yay. Oh, look at this goat. Look at this. Yo, all these pies look so good. I was kind of messing around at the beginning, like, yo, show me the Marche, but I see what's up with the Marche. Constantine and I are gonna eat here, enjoy it. Then we're gonna continue our journey through the Swiss Alps. It's been awesome, you've seen so far. And on our way to Zurich, I really have no idea what to expect there. I googled a couple of things. What should we see, stuff like that. Basically, the main town square, the lake, there's a couple of museums, but we're just gonna go through it. Thank you for watching the videos, I appreciate it. This is gonna be a quick edit, because I got a lot more good stuff coming to you guys. Hey. Yeah. Boom. Can you explain, what did we get? Called the Wursty. Yeah? It's like, uh... Is it noodles? No, 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 uh... Potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. Okay, nice. This is like an apple cider, huh? Kind of, try it. The food and the drink is Swiss, so I'm eating like a Swiss man today in the Swiss countryside. Perfect. Pondering for this video. The world is so dang interesting. You can live a full life, 100 years. Travel to every country in the world, and you're still not gonna meet the most interesting person from every single city or every single country or see a sight like this because today how the sun is shining off the peaks you know and how like the cows are going through the pastures I don't know it's different every day so there's an uncountable number of awesome experiences in this life that you can have and I just encourage you to have as many of them as possible by getting yourself outside getting outside your comfort zone, traveling a little bit, meeting as many people as possible, reading as many books as possible to get your brain, I guess, cultured, if you want to say that, but it's crazy, and I'm in awe of just where I am in Switzerland, being able to do what I do right now. Thanks for watching the videos. That's my short format for the day. scattered all in the valley of these huge mountains. Just green fields up and down, even over to our left, way up there. Nice lake, look at this town. Got the church steeple right on the edge of that cliff. And then below it, right down there is the lake. So I feel like if you built like a long enough slip and slide, you can just go whoop, right off the edge. Probably make it. What do you think? Probably. Welcome to Zurich! <laughs> hey, what up, boy? First car we run into is a pretty dang new Lamborghini. What kind? Is it 2017? Right, no. Ooh, let's go, man. That's sick. Oh, that's a nice one. So you say a lot of French people live here? A lot of, like, from different countries. All it's over. Multicultural, yeah. Zurich is multicultural. But, you know, in Zurich, the 
there are the rich people uh -huh. and the rich people. <laughs> Money in the Swiss banks. We saw a Ferrari, we saw a Lamborghini, we saw a Bentley. Taxis at BMWs. It does seem like a place that's upscale. Best buzz. I'm obsessed. Little Zurich trolley. Yo, guys, this is cool to me. That restaurant, Saigon. There is a Vietnamese restaurant on the corner in the middle of Zurich, Switzerland. Vietnamese food being served in the middle of Switzerland. I'm an American viewing this. That's three different backgrounds interacting in one spot. That's mind blowing to me. Yo, I'm not from Europe, but I like the style though. Shoes are dope, backpack sweet, haircut is impeccable. Got a girlfriend too? Balling! Nice river through there. This is cool, man. This is like a nice outdoor mall turned into a city. Tell me if I'm right, guys, if you're from Europe. Zurich on a sunny day is kind of like a nice outdoor mall expanded into a large city. I've been here five minutes, so I know. Bruh. Underground parking? It's pretty impressive they dug this deep. Look at that, there's one space left. Ah. Where is this parking lot? Where is this parking Oh, he's looking for it. Uh-oh. X, 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 X. Is that a green? Yeah, baby. That's some good technology. All the way down, red, where there's no spot, green where there is, and we got it. We occupied it. We just got out of the car. I'm gonna count the first five cars. Car roulette, all right? BMW, I have no idea. Mercedes, Mercedes, Audi, Mercedes, Audi, Lamborghini, <laughs> Bentley, <laughs> Bentley. Dude, they have so many Lamborghinis here, it's unbelievable. First light, out of a car, out of a parking lot, into the city of Zurich. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, the good thing is, Constantine and I are both tourists here, which is pretty fun because you pretty much wander until you find something interesting. We're gonna mark our location where we parked with a pen and then just go in circles for an hour or two and see what happens. Thank you for coming along with us. Outdoor eateries, and look at this river. Nice walkway. I like this architecture right here. It looks a lot like Paris too. You know, some of the, the building corners, you know, with that edge, and then the rivers in between. Me and Casa are like the most tourist in New right now. It's like, Percocet, Violet Percocet. Watch out behind you, watch out, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> We're explorers. Nice. Oh, they got the Vespas. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah, let's keep walking down here. We'll walk up here to the right. Yeah, we're getting down, getting down to the downtown. We got a Foot Locker here. Dang, never seen a pair of Jordans that I actually want to wear, but check these out. Ooh, fresh, dude. These are sick. Oh, I like these though. The Adidas. Fresh out the box. These are the new ones, huh? This is like the style these days. Stop the video. I want to buy this bike. That's beautiful. Oh, very nice. That's a Royal Enfield. Where'd you get it? You bought it here? That's so sick. I had one of those in India. When I was in India, please. Oh, I don't know why. I'm obsessed with those bikes. And, well, I do know why, because I was in India and I rode one of those exact bikes, please. If you haven't seen the video, check right here. I rode a Royal Enfield motorcycle from New Delhi, crazy city in India, to the Taj Mahal, five hours away. Never had driven a stick shift motorcycle before, so like, I now have a, a deep love for the Royal Enfield because it got me safely to the Taj Mahal. Crazy. They got oranges here. They got oranges here. Are you serious? You know it's upscale if they got oranges. Bruh. Alright, so now we're on one of the main walkways, assuming by all the people. Whoa, can we like go down there real quick? Like I was saying, one of the main walkway, trolleys are going back and forth, all the way to and from the lake, which is one of the main attractions. And lakes down there, all the way. And then this is this little street I wanted to check out. This is so sweet, man, with the flags. When I have a girlfriend, 
I'm taking her on a date at this at this place. It's like a fake little town right here. Again, every single place I go in the world, Disneyland is where I first saw this. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I've seen this before. Bro, have you been to Disneyland? Yeah, I know. Have, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, see, okay. At Disneyland, everything is plastic. <laughs> they make it look almost identical. Yeah. Like, look behind me. Tell me that this is not seen at like some amusement park. Nice cobblestones. I think this is the famous clock tower. At least one of them. Yeah, it's open. I can go in. Oh, look at this alley. Right down there. And it's hard to take a city like this all in the first time and film it, trying to explain it because you keep changing your opinion of it every second, every time you turn left or turn right, I can just show you. And then I encourage you to either visit or Google it, preferably the first one. That's Swiss right there. They let you know, oh yes, cafes and open air and sunshine. Hey, they have my favorite store, Tom Ford. I'm pretty sure y'all, that this is the famous clock. 1732, town square. Pictures with the homies. Sitting with the homies. Oh ye. All right, man. We're at one of the main bridges in the middle of town. Check out this river. Clock tower to clock tower. And then this thing goes right out to the main lake. And you got some more nice church architecture over here. There's the Bentley. Yeah. What's yeah. up, man? Nice trolley coming. Right for me. Check this dude, Heinrich. 1504 to 1575. What do I always say, y'all? The dude had a chance. From 1504 to 1575, but now, so you're currently alive? I suggest you use it to the fullest. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Boy, if you don't... He saved my life right there. I almost got hit. Dude, look at this. Just hanging out by the lake with the swans. What? And people on boats, yo. If you had to describe the city with other cities, how would you compare it? After being here for now 30 minutes, it's like a mix of a miniature Paris with a little bit of Amsterdam because of the canals, mixed with like a Sunday park outside mall feel. Is that pretty accurate? That's good. Put it all into one and it becomes like its own little amusement park slash town. Ayo! They actually have a Ferris wheel. This is so interesting to me. So many people along the water. It's like a theme park out here. Perfect date. This will be another incredible quote from Katz. <laughs> he said Swiss Switzerland is multicultural because the whole world has its money here. Damn, son. Wanna see some good looking flowers? That's Zurich right there. What do you think? <laughs> Some of the best looking flowers I've ever seen in my life. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I want to pick these. Give them to a nice lady. And I've never seen anywhere I've been such a long line of like perfect benches along a waterfront where people just come and sit, eat ice cream, read books, or take their date. Zurich has got that right for sure. What is going on here in Switzerland? 
This is a good view of the little boardwalk where everybody's sitting all the way down. And I'm assuming all the way around the lake, at least on this side. Perfect day in the park. Bentley, Maserati, Swiss, Beamer, Swiss, Audi, what's up? Audi, what's up? Beamer, and Mercedes, Range. Is it 911? Woo! My kind of car right here though. Fiat. We're leaving Zurich. Perfect day, sunny day out in the park. Everybody's had ice cream by the water, enjoying the time. It was a mixture of Paris, Amsterdam, Sunday in the park, and an outdoor mall. Also throw in there, pretty much like an auto show. There were Maseratis, Bentleys, Ferraris, and any other car you can ask for on every single street corner, so it was awesome. Perfect way to spend a weekend. If you have a weekend and you're in Europe, you have a couple extra days, come to Zurich, sit at the water, and just explore the town. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. Also, follow Constantine on Instagram. This is his tag. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next video. We out.